Hello and welcome to episode 84 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to take you to the next level of project planning in Todoist using the GTD Natural Project Planning Method. Now, for those of you who've been watching my Evernote series, in episode 32, I showed you how we would do a natural planning method use the natural planning method for a more complex project so the last episode i show you how we would do that in a simpler project in this episode i want to show you how we would take it to the next level of complexity by creating a fictional wedding planning project so in this example what i've done is i've done my usual natural planning so we created the purpose the vision and i've done some basic um <clears throat> brainstorming here but also um, you can if you were actually using uh, the uh, if you prefer doing your brainstorming using paper then of course you can just scratch it out on paper get some ideas throw them about play around with it and then you can actually uh, scan it into your Evernote and then use that as the basis of your note so what I've done so far is I've gone through that. I've done some basic, I've done my purpose, my vision and some basic uh, uh, typed out written ideas. And then we've got to the next actions. Now, in this case, I've pulled out one, two, three, four and possibly five. So let's just add something to this one so that I'm not. Um, so some, we've got something in everything. So um, discuss with um, partner how much we want to spend now one of the key things here is um, is also to make sure that all these little projects all these little tasks actually start with an action verb so um, in this case I've got another decide so let's decide how many guests we do we want talk to partners so we've got a verb here decide talk decide 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 talk talk discuss Okay, so you, you can actually um, take this a bit further if you want, and we can add this, like, uh, for example, here, uh, book photographer. So um, let's say book Anthony. Uh, gonna, uh, sorry, Anthony, if I've spelt your surname wrong. Um, photography. So again, we've got here uh, book. So we've got a verb and then we've got discuss. So we've got kind of a few things here that we may want to. Uh, have I got Anthony? Ga it's really bothering me now. I, I think I actually have. <laughs> so um, anyway, Ga Anthony, I am very, very sorry if I have misspelt your name. But in this case, I just wanted to see. No, no, no. I spelt your name correctly. Oh, cool. Um, anyway, so going back to, to the uh, point here. So what we've done is we've got uh, all our next actions set up and we've also created some sub projects. So let's go into my to do is now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to my left hand side. I'm not going to do this in my um, in my um, actual main window. I'm going to create add project below. And let's have a look. We've got here wedding guests. So let's get wedding guests. Now remember, you can change these order. You can change this order around as much as you like. I'm going to indent that one indent, and that's done. So add that project, and then I'm going to click on that and add project below. So it's already indented. So let's have a look. Wedding reception. So we're going to put that one in. Um, Add project and then we'll do another add project below and we've got uh, where we go honeymoon um, done and a project below we've got um, photographer and add project below and we've got budget okay so these are my now projects. So when I click on wedding plans now, I've got all my sub uh, sub um, projects already in. 
Uh, now the thing is you're gonna have to type those in now another thing that one of my viewers pointed out is now I'm gonna test this live because I haven't actually decided <laughs> I haven't decided how I'm gonna do this um, but let's have a look decide how many guests we want talk to my partner about numbers so here it would be talk to my partner well my partner is um, I know I have a label there uh, my wife's name is Rang Yong so I'm gonna put in an at now I was told and I've I'm promising you this I haven't actually tested this so this is live testing um, that is going to automatically put that label in now I did know you could do this but now we're going to find out for sure if this works so what we've done is we've created the projects the sub projects we're now going to copy uh, each individual project so let's copy that move across in here wedding guests um, I'm going to add task I'm going to click the do you want to add the two tasks? Yes, I do. And look at that. It's actually put in the label. So for those of you who uh, are the premium version of Todoist, remember, if you know what label um, is going to be attached to this, you can actually put your labels in while you're putting out your next action. So let's carry on down here. Um, I've got another copy of these two. Wedding reception, add task. Paste those in. Do you want to add two? Yes. Um, move back honeymoon uh, I'm gonna do this again because I was quite cool so we got at Rangyong and again you have to get the spelling right remember so um, let's have a decide where the plan I'm gonna go there. just copy that uh, move that across Add task command V yes I really do like that <laughs> that's gonna save a lot of time if you're as your project planning uh, and then you can cross it over there and just copy and paste um and get them in and over here we've got discuss with partner so i can actually do that again so uh, uh so these are the things that you can actually do as you're doing this so now you've got your bigger project you've got it all set up and now you can add in so what you've got now is you've got your big project here if you're discussing with your partner about wedding guests or you can discussing about wedding reception and so on now this is a really really cool way of actually developing a big project now I hope this has answered inside systems question inside system is a viewer of these um, of my videos and he has been or she has been asking a lot about how I would develop a more complex project in Todoist and essentially this is how I would do it I would create um, all these projects I don't know why I've got a double one there so let's just delete that one so I can delete that okay um, so now I've got a container for my wedding plans and it's all here I can I can add projects here directly but generally speaking I now have this wonderful planning note here which I can just scratch out my ideas as and when I want them so there you go that's essentially how I would develop a larger a more complex project using the natural planning method of GTD and I would use I would combine the two Evernote and Todoist to develop this project because I do like hard edges between the things I'm working on and also I have a little bit more flexibility with Evernote to just throw in ideas I can I, I can just add notes down here you know I can just add more notes think about something if I wanted that wasn't really a um, a project but it was I'm sorry not an actual task but it's just something I want to develop at a later date so there you go that hopefully brings to an end uh, my my few little mini series if you like on natural on the natural project planning of GTD I hope you found this useful uh, please feel free to ask any questions you like in the comments section below and I'll be more than happy to answer you and hopefully this will give you some idea of how you can combine the power of two fantastic applications, Evernote and Todoist, to really get into the heart of some of these more complex projects that really need a lot of thinking about. Okay, so I hope you all now have a very, very productive week, and I will see you in the next episode.